Today, we'll be studying the DM modem experiment. Before performing the actual practical, let us know few details or theory of the DM modulation and demodulation. Sample values of analog waveform are predictable in the sense that the difference between two sample values is very small. Hence, one can predict the value of the next sample based on previous samples. Now, this prediction has some error, but this error should be small as compared to the as compared to the magnitude of the input signal. DM employs this predictability in simple hardware. On to the Castronica kit, we have a function generator based on IC8038. The receiver consists of IC7401, which is a NOT gate, IC7483, an adder, and IC7473, that is, that is used for latching of the output. The main aim of the DM experiment is to understand the process of generation and detection of DM signal. On to the practical. First, connect the generated sign input to the non-inverting terminal of the comparator. Measure the amplitude and frequency of this sine wave. As we can see, the input sine wave has a frequency of 1 kHz and a peak to peak voltage of 2.96 volt, which we could round off to 3 volt. We need to make a note of this readings. Now, connect the IC4013 output to the control sequence for the receiver and connect the DAC output to the inverting terminal of the comparator. Here, the input signal is compared with respect to the DAC output to obtain the DM output. Now, observe the DAC output along with the sine input waveform. As we can see, as the waveform goes from positive peak to negative peak, the DAC output decreases. Correspondingly, as it moves from negative to positive, the DAC output is increasing. We need to measure the minimum step size of this DAC output. Go to measure, cursor, type, amplitude, and move this cursor. Cursor 2. As we can see, the delta V over here is 400 millivolt. On the DM kit, we have a potentiometer to change the step size of the DAC output. At present, the DAC output is present at the S minimum value, which we noted to be 400 millivolt. Now, if you change the port to in counterclockwise direction to the maximum value, maximum value of the step size. Here again if we measure we can see that the maximum value of step size is 960 millivolt. We need to make note of these two values that is the maximum small, maximum step size and the minimum step size. Now observe the DM output along with the DAC output. Now here, as we can see, for a 1 transmitted, the DAC output is increasing in 4 steps and for a 0, it decreases for the same 4 steps. As we have seen, as we have observed the signals on the CRO and we took notes of the input signal amplitude, its frequency. We also saw the step size, which is minimum step size of 400 millivolt and maximum of 960 millivolt. The sampling frequency for the Castronica kit mentioned here is 8 kHz. The slope overload error ob is obtained when your step size into the sampling frequency is less than a into 2 pi fm. As you can see from the values over here, s into s min and s max into fm both are less than a into 2 pi fm and hence we observe the slope overload error. If this value step size into fs is greater than or equal to a, two pi, a into 2 pi into fm, there will be no slope, slope overload error. The slope overload error can be observed on the DSO as as we can see over here, the slope of the sine wave and the slope generated by these steps does not match. This is the slope overload error. Coming to the second part of the experiment, instead of the sine wave input, we are going to give a square wave input to the non-inverting terminal of the comparator. For a given square wave input of very low frequency, say around 500 Hz, 
we can observe the DAC output as follows. Here we can see that even though the input is constant, the DAC continuously shifts up and down. This is known as single step hunting. If you move the step size spot on top of DAC, now you can see double step hunting of the DAC output as follows. Again, if you move the step size, we will get a single step hunting over here. The only thing to remember is double step and single step can be observed for constant for when the input is a constant DC value. That's all for today. Thank you.